What made you want to reach out to News 4 about this? Um, I just felt like they um, are concerned and the, they have a voice that people listen to. A woman on the northeast side says a pack of dogs is terrorizing her neighborhood and she was having trouble getting anything done about it. So she contacted the News 4 I team. News 4's Jordan Elder called Animal Care Services to find out why multiple reports went unanswered. Here's what happened next. George. It happened George, fast. Behind these trees, three larger dogs latch on to a smaller one, not letting go until Fredine Springer came running over. I was terrified. I was just trying to get, you know, to safety. When an animal is tortured, you know, we, we all are tortured. Her beloved George suffered several bite wounds. The vet told me he may not you know, survive. The good news is George is doing better now, despite a few more scars and a little less fur. But Springer says this all could have been prevented. She and her neighbors took photos and called these dogs into ACS several times. You see the cases marked as open on this city map. On Monday night, I also reached out to ACS. And here's what happened Tuesday morning. Our cameras watched as ACS arrived to find the dogs. We're told they captured two and are still looking for the third. Springer says if they'd responded earlier, George and other dogs in the area may have been spared. I don't know if they're short staffed or if they're just overwhelmed. She and her neighbors plan to file aggressive dog affidavits. Those spark a city investigation that could put new requirements on these dogs and whoever owns them. We told you during the city budget season that ACS was only able to physically respond to about four of every 10 calls that they received. Today we checked back in to see if that response rate is improving. They told us that it takes a while to gather that data and that the four out of 10 number was gathered over the course of a whole year. As soon as we get those updated response times, we'll let you know. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.